It is official, Lionel Messi has officially completed football. After seven Ballon d'Ors, 11 league titles, four UCL trophies and a Copa America, he's finally added the granddaddy of them all, the FIFA World Cup. Thus, he has cemented his legacy as the GOAT of this generation and can stake a strong claim for being the best of all time. It's crazy to think that when he showed off Argentina in the 2006 World Cup, nobody knew who he was. But today, even those who don't follow the game are familiar with Messi. Many documentaries have been made about him covering every bit of his rise to stardom and his personal life, but we wager that there are still some secrets about the little magician that you have not yet heard. In this video, we talk about five of these facts and secrets that have now been immortalized with the man himself. Number one, he stands alone on the side in all team pictures. Everyone has heard about how Ronaldo always stands on the tips of his toes in pre-game photos to look as tall as Gareth Bale when they were at Madrid. But what has gone under the radar is that Messi has his own method of appearing appearing taller in team photos. As far back as his playing days with Xavi and Iniesta, all the photos show Messi standing in the left corner of the lineup, usually arm in arm with the first row who are squatting. The only difference is that he doesn't bend his knees, but he hunches his shoulders just a little, making him appear taller than them while giving off the impression that he is bending down with them. It is certainly a good fix for a player who used to get teased for his diminutive stature and absolutely hates the nickname he got because of his height, La Pulga, Spanish for the flea. Number two, he has his own word in the dictionary. Famous men have cities named after them, great ones even have stars named after them, but really special ones are able to impact the language that we speak every day. Just ask Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who was honored by the Swedish Language Council when they included Zlatanera, meaning to dominate, in their list of new words from 2012. It now appears that the Swede is some esteemed company in the shape of Lionel Messi. Just a year after Zlatanera was made public, Santillana, a dictionary in Spanish, decided that they also needed a new word to describe the world's best player. The word they formed was Inmesionate, which aptly means the perfect way to play football or an unlimited capacity for self-improvement. Frankly, it is quite fitting given the transitions we have seen the Argentine go through in his career. My only wish was that in his most prolific season, the word Messiless would have been used whenever he bagged a hat-trick or bamboozled defenders. Number 3. His international debut was one to forget. At the age of 18, Messi was called up to the senior team of Argentina for a friendly against Hungary. Not much was expected at the time, but for him, it was the biggest moment of his young career. In the 63rd minute, he came on as a substitute for Lisandro Lopez and immediately found the ball at his feet. He quickly nudged the ball forward in an attempt to gather speed for a mazy run into the opponent's box, but fate had other ideas. Vilmos Vanschak held the then 18-year-old boy by his shirt and in the process of shaking off Vanschak, Messi struck him in the face with his arms. The referee deemed it as a deliberate elbow and gave Messi his marching orders. Just like that, his debut lasted for only 43 seconds. Looking back, Vilmos Vanschak had joked that he is happy to have been part of the history of such a great player. I always laughed that maybe I pushed him on in his international career. Maybe I started his career. He is an amazing player, so I like it that at one point in history, we came together. It is a big thing for me. Number four, same sound, different words. Today, it's not a surprise to see many Argentines plying their trade in Europe. But when Messi was on the up, he was the only young player playing outside the shores of Argentina. So when the Argentine FA wanted to invite him for the under-20s national team, they took a wild guess and went by the sound of his name. The letter they issued the call-up in was addressed to one Lionel Messi. Thankfully, no one got sacked over the error as the play himself was a virtual nobody at that point. Number 5. Rodrigo de Paul, more than a bodyguard. Messi's favorite pal and self-appointed protector has made a name for himself as one of the most physical players in world football. At the World Cup, he didn't disappoint on their run to the finals and also had no problem keeping his captain out of danger on and off the field. But after the World Cup, it has now emerged that his gifts may extend far beyond the physical. A Twitter post has revealed that de Paul had predicted their triumph way back in September, leaving a note to that effect in Messi's room. It read, I am Rodrigo de Paul, 7. It is September 18th, 2022. I sign this paper and say that we will win the World Cup two months from now. So maybe, as calm as Messi was during the penalty shootout against France, there might have been one man who was even calmer, the bodyguard himself, Rodrigo de Paul. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We really appreciate each and everyone who supports the channel. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.